Hello friends, welcome to this video and in this video we are going to build a feed forward neural network in TensorFlow. So let's get started. So the feed forward neural network was the first and simplest type of artificial neural network. In this network the information moves only in one direction. It goes from the input node and come out from the output node. So in from the input node it give, it gives the input image. Okay, and from the output we uh, takes the class label which belong to this image. Okay, so there is no cycle or loop in this network. So you can see in this diagram we first give it an image to this uh, feed forward new neural network, and fr and the from the output it gives the class label for the image. Okay, so we need to train this network such that it gives us more higher accuracy. So there are two type of feed forward neural network. First the single layer feed forward neural network and second the multi layer feed forward neural network in this video we are going to build a multi layer feed forward neural network and that uh, data set we are going to use for this task is the amnist okay which consists of 28 by 28 pixel images so we are going to build a multi layer feed forward neural network and the input we are not going to give us it 2d image because we are building a feed forward network so we are going to flatten the images that is 28 by 28 images into 768 okay convert it to one dimensional format then give it as the input so we have these two nodes and at the last we have this output node with softmax classifier applied to it which is going to give us the output that is the label for this image okay now we'll move move on to the coding part so we need to import three library first tensorflow to implement it second numpy for the numerical co computation and third matplotlib for the visualization purpose okay. next we are going to load the uh, data set and then we are going to normalize the image by dividing it by 255 that is the highest value for any pixel so that the value of those pixels would be in the range of c 0 and 1 okay now you can see the 100 amnist images which are going to use for training the data next we have some hyperparameter first the learning rate so i have set it to 0 0.01 this is one of the most important factor learning if you say set it low so the training will be low if you set it high maybe it will skip some of the important ones so you need to set the optimum learn, learn, learning rate so you have to tune it train you have to check through trial and error and tune it so hyperparameter are the they are literally called hyperparameter because you need to tune them manually there is no thumb rule or anything for them so this you need to tune them by thumb by trial and error okay next we are going to fo format the label and we are going to the uh, data set and we are going to first flatten the training images and test images and then we are going to convert the label into one hot vector so that we can feed them into the model okay next we are going to create the placeholders which are going to take the in which are going to take the input okay so these placeholders to take the input uh, data next we are going to create the trainable parameter that is the weight and the bias for weight we have used the random uniform method and for the base we have used the zero method okay next we are going to create a multi-layer perceptron that is a multi-layer feed forward neural network where we have introduced the sigmoid non-linearity so that it can grasp more pattern it can model more com more non-linear behavior okay next we are defining our loss so for loss we have used the softmax cross entropy with logit so softmax cross entropy uh, cross entropy is basically a distance function which is to calculate the error the distance between the predicted label and the real label and we are going to optimize this loss function with the gradient descent optimizer which take learning rate as the parameter and then minimize our loss function the next function is going to give us the accuracy it take two parameter first the, pre pre the uh, prediction that is the prediction and that is the value given by our model first we give it the input image then it gives us the predictions okay and the label these are the true values of the image so it will give us the percentage of accuracy the accuracy how much percent of the prediction are uh, correct with respect to the labels next and the last step we are going to train the model so first we are going to initialize a session and then we have this for loop which run the number of time training epoch then we have two variable average cost and average accuracy then we will find the total batch because we are going to run the total batch 
for a time so that's why we have initialized these two as zeros then we have the batch okay batch of input batch x batch y that is the next we are going to run the training operation the loss operation the training op operation is going to train the model and the loss operation is going to give us the loss okay and we are going to use the feedback method to input our data into the model then we calculate the average cost like this we will uh, calculate the average accuracy and then we will display all the information okay and we will ca also calculate the test loss through this function and we will feed the test data and we will calculate its accuracy and then we will display all the information that is an epoch what epoch it is average cost average accuracy then test loss and then test accuracy after that our optimization will be finished when the number of epochs are complete then we will predict the test accuracy again now we will run this and we will see how much accuracy it will give us within 10 epochs because we have only we have only run it to 10 epoch only you can train it more and get more accuracy in future we will see we will in introduce some more method to gain more accuracy because this model can be underfit or overfit so we will use some more methods to give it more accuracy okay so you can see our model is finished it has uh, 10 epochs so at last at the 10 epoch the training loss is 0 0.26 training accuracy 93% and the test loss or we can say the generalization loss is 0.54 and the test accuracy is 83% so we can say we have 83% accuracy achieved within the 10 epoch and the two <laughs> hidden layers using the sigmoid non linearity you can add more hidden layers just hit trial and error use trial and error and add more nodes change to uh, change the hyperparameter and do more thing and just try it yourself okay so that's all for this video. I hope you all have got the concept of feed forward neural network or multi-layer perceptron. If you like my content, then please subscribe to my channel, hit like, share this video friend. And if you have any query, then please comment below. Thank you. Have a nice day.